the point of having an asset inventory and being able to locate your systems, locate those assets, is that you can't protect what you don't know you have. When you're conducting an asset inventory, you really need to know where the systems are physically located. Uh, and that pertains to, as Dre mentioned, that also pertains to virtual systems, where are they maintained? Where are, where are they running from? Uh, how many are there? Um, you know, who owns them? This is one of the issues that I've run into as an incident responder over the years is being unable to find the owner of, of a system. But this also, this doesn't just pertain to physical or virtual systems, okay? So you can have one system, but what are the assets? Arlen, before you move on, yes. I've okay. a question. They wanted to know your opinion on, hey, who should own asset inventory, a team? Should it be InfoSec, Service Desk? Should it be completely GRC, non-technical folk? Who, who should run that? For, for an organization, who owns this asset inventory process? Well, it needs to be, uh, there needs to be a check-in and a decommissioning process. Like a new, pro a new system is stood up, uh, a process is decommissioned. Okay. And if you kind of think about it, this is the same kind of process we need to have for user management, but we're just uh, applying it to just um, you know, uh, computer systems. So who, who's, who's the business owner of the system? What needs to be, and that could identify what needs to be running on it. That could identify the gold image that's loaded on it. Uh, it could identify the applications that need to be running on it, whether business applications or just uh, you know regular you know types of applications like um, uh, you know as, as a server as opposed to a workstation, I guess is what I'm thinking about. But the organization that owns that needs to be one that is able to ensure that there's accountability. Yeah. And I'm not saying that they need to be able to wield the stick versus the carrot. Uh, not that's not the case at all, but there needs to be an accurate record and you can't have that entire department on vacation the moment an incident happens. <laughs> that would be a bad thing. <laughs> no, totally. And I strongly, like you said, Draconian, completely agree. It, it is who can carry the biggest stick, right? Because it is making sure you're not going to have shadow IT. Yes. It is making sure yes. that when things hit the proverbial fan, there are responsible, accountable people who can get you the answers you need.